Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Wounded Satellite for some CEDH. I'm Max, aka Wounded Satellite. I'm a co-host with Max Pfefferman on the YouTube channel slash podcast CDH show, Colors of a Crutch, where we go over CDH con content and talk about tournament play uh, and our experiences in these tournaments and how they're going. I also offer CDH coaching. You can find me on Discord as Wounded Satellite, Twitter as Wounded Satellite, or on YouTube as Colors of a Crutch. Uh, thank you guys so much for having me on Play to Win. It's really, really awesome to come full circle. You guys are what got me into CDH, so really exciting to finally be a guest on the show. This video is brought to you in part by Dragon Shield. Use code play to win 5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. And check us out on Patreon to support us directly and get some cool extra perks. So we have me on Tim Natana Blood Pod. Brandon is on our patron Mark Sillero's list. Tippity tappity tap look at Tazri Go. Wounded Satellite is on Kinnon. Grind them into dust. And Cam is playing Nimrus. Begin! Begin. I have my very questionable five. Any pregames? Yes. I have a gemstone caverns and I'll pitch this island for it. This was obviously filmed in December because I'm using... I did the whole thing wrong. I used the Christmas play map Too late. filmed in December yeah. so that it in February <laughs> we can watch. Yeah. I'll start us off. Struck card. Flooded Strand. Crack the Flooded Strand. Scrubland. Mox Diamond. Discard. Polluted Delta. Cast Dauntless Dismantler. Dylan, I'm really starting to think you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were not going to enjoy this for some yeah, reason. It's fine. I had a feeling. Fine. Pass turn. Draw. Ticker Foundry. Ticker two. Then I'll play a tapped Esper Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. In response to Esper Sentinel, I'm going to cast the Brainstorm. One, two, three. Put back two guards. Esper Sentinel, good. And I'm good. Waterlogged Grove, Buddy the Elf. And I will pass the turn. Oh, that's very festive. <laughs> Although by the time this episode comes out, it won't be festive anymore. I will play Underground C and put a Demonic Tutor on the stack. Esper Sentinel. That one you can have. Draw. I'm going to go get a card. I will pass. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Nurturing Peatlands. I lose a life off of the Pete land and cast Timna. We'll go to combat. Camera just demonic tutored, so Cam, I'll attack you for one. 39. Second main, lose a life and draw a card. And that's it for me. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Ancient tomb. I'll take two off the ancient tomb and cast Scissor. I'll pass. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to tap one, going to 38, cast a Mystic Remora. Esper. Enjoy, my good sir. Yeah, let's all draw cards. And then I will tap Buddy the Elf for a tapped soul ring. And I will pass the turn. I'll get a draw. I will play an Urza Saga. I'll cast a Mystic Remora too. Nice. Hey, I trigger my stick for more. Yeah. I will let you draw with fish, but I will pay for the Esper Sentinel. Cam, I've never liked you. <laughs> I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Let's go to combat. I'll send two at wounded satellite, one at cam. 38. I will graciously accept these beats. I'm going to gain two off of Timna, and then in second main, lose that two and draw two cards. Lose life off of the Peatland. Vindhorn Elves cast Collector Roof. This fucking guy. Cast Chalice of the Void. Ooh, triggers. <laughs> you can all draw your cards. Head. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, dude. That's it. Pass my turn. So Collector Roof and Chalice of the Void seem very good right now. Uh, if you'll check my list down below, I've actually just recently taken these cards out of my list, which feels very strange. I didn't think that I would do that for Blood Pod, but um, with some recent inclusions like Manglehorn and Dauntless Dismantler, I'm leaning a little bit further away from Collector Oof and try to utilizing some treasure makers like Lotho and Ragavan. Plus now you can play the one ring. There you go. Uh, doesn't come up here, but this is a, a little bit of an old list, just so you're aware. I don't know if you've figured it out, but it's December when we played this game. Drop one out. I'm gonna play this Death Rite Shaman. I'm gonna lose my end step and discard. Discard this Concordant Crossroads. Untap, pay for drop. Misty Rainforest, crack the Misty. Get a Tropical Island into play. Losing one life and cast everyone's favorite Simic piece of shit, Opiora. Pass the turn. On my upkeep, I'll pay for fish and draw. Mana Confluence. Urza Saga ticks up. Oh, thank you. Yep, Urza Saga ticks up. And then I will Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Go to combat, Dauntless at Cam, Timna at Wounded Satellite. I will no block, take, take one. I will gain two life off Timna and main two, lose two life and draw two cards. Arid Mesa, I'll crack it and search. I'll find Plateau. I'll lose a life from the nurturing Peatland and I'll cast Drana and Linvala. What? The fuck? Whoa. <laughs> I will pass my turn. You can tell I really kept his hand because I knew it would be good against Kinnon. 
<laughs> this Tazri deck is also built around activated abilities, so it's also really going to shut off Brandon's main win condition. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play this Blood Crypt, untap, take two. Go do 34, pass with seven cards in hand. I'm going to untap and think really hard here in this upkeep. Pongify and collect three. Hell yeah. Can I draw a card? Yeah, go for it. Nice. Cool. What about Brandon? Oh, Brandon, my guy. Absolutely. You need all the help you need. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I say nothing. I'll make a 3-3. Three, three, Some Blood Pod lists play Shalai uh, in this slot, which gives other creatures you control hexproof. And I think about that a lot. <laughs> I'm then going to tap Soul Ring to pay for fish. Draw for turn. Play this Seagate Restoration as a land for turn. Hang three life so it is untapped. Keep having to tap this Waterlogged Grove. Uh, and I will draw Cam one more card with a Simic Signet. Nice. Thank you. I'm just passing the turn. Hmm. Patience, young Padawan. Move to my turn. <laughs> Upkeep two to keep our fish around. Before you go to draw, Force of Vigor pitching a Court of Calling. I'm going to target Mystic Remora and Urza's Saga. That's pretty Yeah, enjoy. And yeah. my Mystic Remora? Yeah. Buster Storm. May I draw? Everyone can draw, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Had to try. This is really heads up timing from Wounded Satellite here, making me commit the mana to keeping my fish around and then getting rid of my two enchantments is super well timed. And it kind of forces me to have to use my interaction to save my pieces because it's really the only thing that I'm going to have going on. And I need to be able to go get a soul ring with this. Urza Saga to cast Nimrus sometime soon. Do you want to say Mana Crypt? Because that's what you got instead, actually. Why do I get Mana Crypt? I don't know, man. <laughs> also, Simic Signet should be tapped right now because of the Dauntless Suspander. We remember in a second. Draw for turn. Urza Saga, tick up. Mana Crypt is what I'm getting right now. Oh, um, the center's tapped. My bad. Let's just move to my end step. I have to discard a card. Get rid of this Lotus Petal that doesn't do shit. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Start with combat. I'll have the 3-3 three, three Ape come at Wounded Satellite. Brandon, I'll come at you with Drenna and Linvala. And Cameron, I'll come at you with Dauntless Dismantler and a Timna. I'll take three. Block with my L. 31. I will gain two life from Timna and then my second main, I will lose that two life and draw two cards. Main two, I'm gonna lose a life from the Nurturing Peatland here and cast Mayhem Devil. I will play Verdant Catacombs. Huh. Huh. I wonder what this is gonna do. I'm gonna crack the Verdant Catacombs right now and when I sacrifice something, I'll lose one life and I'm gonna trigger Mayhem Devil and shoot the damage at Esper Sentinel. Okay. I'll find Badlands, cast Survival of the Fittest. Remoras? Remoras, you may draw. Go ahead. In your end step. I'm the swords, the Dranton and Ball. Mystic Remoras? Not paying. That's fish. It's exiled. I'll gain three. Still an end step. I'm gonna Vampiric. Fishy. No fish. And I lose two. I go to 29. Now we go to my turn. Drop turn. Ancient Tomb, take two. And I'm gonna tap the Death Rite, exiling one of the lands in your yard, Dylan. Add a green cast. Invasion of Ikoria, X equals two. A fishy, Ooh. fishy. Can't pay for the fishes. That one is probably worth the counter. I'm gonna look at the Demir Control deck that runs 37 counter spells. <laughs> <laughs> Pass priority. <laughs> this chalice is not helpful. I mean, if you can show me a zero mana interaction that you can do to stop this, I can blow up my chalice right now with Dauntless Dismantle. I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just letting you know it's on the table. That's all. No, yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. I and mean, the problem is if he grabs Grand Abolisher here, then, then we're fucked. That is a big... Honestly, no matter what he grabs here, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> Thinking about it, we're fucked. What if I lose a life down to 33 and cast a Consider? I have no effects to that. Fish. Fish you may draw. Definitely don't want Wish Claw Talisman right now. So draw a different card. That doesn't help. So I do have Pact of Negation, which could could stop this, but I can't cast it right now. I will blow it up if you packed it. I feel like I'm kind of forced into packing this. Oh, uh, we'll no, you know game. what? This destroys all artifacts with mana value of X, which would be your mana crypt. He runs Dark Ritual, and I can draw him a couple cards. So, like, it is an out. <laughs> I will draw you as many cards as I can feasibly draw you. <laughs> <laughs> which, like, when I say that, like, I drew, like, Mox Opal, and I can cast, like, Mox Diamond without another land and just, like, draw you cards. I will, I will try and get you there. No, I appreciate what we're all doing and saying. I think it's a king make situation where the reality, it is an out, but the reality of the situation is that I give the game to Max or Dylan because of this. But if you don't do anything, you give the game to Brandon. I really wish I would have gotten a soul ring because we wouldn't have even had to have had this conversation. Well, no matter what, I'm fucked and I'm yeah. in a horrible situation. This game sucks. I should have played Itali. I will <laughs> I will cast. Wait, don't do it right now. Let me, let me do my thing first. Before you cast it, I am going to spend one white mana and zero mana for the X ability to sacrifice Dauntless and destroy each artifact with mana value of X, which is just these two and 
the mana crypt over there. Mayhem Devil trigger when that happens. I'll have the Mayhem Devil damage go at Cannon. Cannon takes the damage. Pack them negation targeting the Battle of Ikoria. Le fish. Fish, you may draw. I'm going to pass priority on Pack of negation. I will deflecting spot. Fish. Yeah, you both get to draw. Fish, fish. Okay, well, funny enough, I've left my thing in, in order here so you can see that the card I drew off your pack was in fact Fierce Guardianship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, cool. What are you targeting <laughs> with Fierce? I will target the Invasion of Ikoria. I'm going to help Cam out and not have his pack resolve. I get a fish off that. If you cool. make a deal with someone to have them cast their pack, I think it's respectful to not make it resolve. I appreciate that. I have yet to draw Dark <laughs> Ritual, so... <laughs> well, you're good now. I'm going to Fierce Guardianship. You motherfucker. Fish. More draws. All fish, yeah. Cam, can you help? I can't. I'm out of mana, and I have no free interaction. Well, the one I did have this whole time was my break trap, but it wasn't active. Um, I will target right. literally fucking everything that's not my fierce. <laughs> Am I going to draw a fish? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. A lotus pillow. Fish, fish. Yeah, you guys have it. If you yeah. sacrifice it now, we can kill Kinnon. Probably we're friends. We were friends before. Now we're not. Yeah, now, <laughs> not after that do. stack, I guess. <laughs> I'll suck it for a blue. Mayhem devil trigger. I'll shoot it at Kinnon. Yeah, okay. And then I'll cast Malevolent Hermit. So go. Untap. Let me cook. Sure thing, Dane. <laughs> Top for three, pay for fish. Get to draw. Ancient Tim is land for turn. Cast Kinnon. Lose two life. Mox Opal. Fish. You may draw. Cast a Mox Diamond. Ooh, fish. You may draw. Pitch this island. Tap Mox Diamond. Tapping Simic Signet. Floating two blue, two green. Leave one blue floating. And I just top deck with Assault Model. Mm, may I draw? You may draw. Yeah. Show me your Mind Break Trap. Well, you did draw me into some free interaction. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You may draw. I will draw. That sucks. I will just have to turn. I think my fish is dead, though, on my turn. And I'll draw Manamo, School at Water's Edge, as my land. I'll cast a Jeweled Lotus. Fish. You may draw. Crack Jeweled Lotus for three blue. Trigger Mayhem Devil. I'll have the Mayhem Devil shoot the Malevolent Hermit. I'll cast Nimrus. Cam, do you have anything to deal with a Dylan win? I do now. Move to my end step, and I have a ton of shit to discard. Opposition Agent, Soul Ring, Polluted Delta, Takanuma, Notion Thief, Wave Break, Hippo Camp, Mystical Tutor, Delay, and Dig Through Time. I've drawn so many cards, I just have been so pinched on mana that it's really been tough for me to actually get past the point of trying to claw out from other people's victories here. Yeah, and this is where Kinnon slowly starts to take the lead in these kind of ristic battles because while well, everyone else, like you and Brandon, are getting choked on mana with all of the cards in your hand, Wounded Satellite is not. He's getting extra mana out so he can cast all the spells that he's drawing. Untap, upkeep, draw a card, play Command Tower, cast a Chromox, you can draw off Mystic. I'll put Deathrite Shaman underneath it. Activate Survival of the Fittest. Discarding Felid, our guardian. I'll go search. I'll find Kiki Jiki. I'll Sorry. activate Survival of the Fittest again. Discarding Kiki Jiki. I'll find Karma Guide and put it in my hand. I'll cast Karma Guide. Lose a life. Force of Will. Pitching March of Smurling Mist. Losing a life and triggering Nimrus. Trigger your fish as well. Here's Nimrus. We'll bin this city of brass. I will draw. It's countered. You got it. Yeah, Cameron doesn't bluff often, so I probably should have just believed him when he said he had a way to stop me and instead looked for something else like a Shieldred or something that could halt any of the card draw in any way whatsoever. Even an Orcish Bowmaster would have been great but whatever now that you said that i'm gonna start <laughs> bluffing a lot more often i can't have a i can't be a character go to combat let's send mayhem devil is coming at wounded satellite and then timna and the three three ape is coming at cameron block the three three take three down to 30. i will gain two and then main two lose it again and draw two i will pass my turn uh, i drew for turn i'm gonna cast this arcane signet and give you another card okay, yeah i'll draw i'm gonna play the latest fish fish yeah you got it I'll take a... I'll just untap and pay for fish. Drop for turn. There's got to be some kind of a big fat creature in your hand at this point, <laughs> play, right? You think so, right? Tap for four. Losing two life. Glenelandra. I will just cast the one ring. Uh, just casting fish. the one ring, yeah. Yeah. I will gain protection from everything until my next turn. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. I'm going to go to discard. I'm going to discard a bloom tender. Yeah, the salt is gone. I'm going to discard this Tezzeret. I will pass the turn. Get a draw. Clear water pathway as my land. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Play City of Brass as my land for turn. Activate Survival the Fittest. Discarding Ignoble Hierarch. I'm going to find Shieldred. I'm going to cast Shieldred. In response, I'm just going to tap the one ring and draw a card. I will go to combat. Satellite, I'll come at you with my 3-3 three, three beast. Cam, I'll come at you with Timna and the Mayhem Devil. Block Mayhem Devil. Take two. I will declare no blocks and take no damage. Oh, yeah. Nice. He just activated the one ring. He said, draw one card with the one ring. I say, okay, right, because you just played it. Got it. Okay, attack you. 
What the fuck? And then uh, I'm gonna gain two from Timna. Main two, I will lose one and draw one card. And then when I draw a card, Shieldred will trigger and I will gain two life. and attack in the ring player like a goddamn amateur. <laughs> what else are we doing here? I'm gonna cast Dockside Extortionist. I'll lose Love a life from the city of Brass. Are you gonna come like Lenalandra? I might. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> At like some point. That. You know what? I actually, I don't think you're gonna just murder my things right now. You might wait. I'll probably wait. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't kill anything on your board yet. Yeah, you're fine. I'll make eight treasures. I'm gonna sacrifice six treasures for six green. I'm gonna have six mayhem devil triggers. I'll send three at the Nimrus and three at the Tazri. I'm gonna tap the Tazri for green mana that can only be spent on creature abilities, right? That's sad. Nimrus dead. I will use that six mana on a Vivian of the Hunt. <laughs> Fish trigger. You may draw. I will draw. Oh, I have one too. Yeah, you lose two life when you draw. Yeah, I cannot do anything about a Vivian. No. I guess I'll fear guardianship it then. Fishy. You two can draw. Yeah. I will draw and lose two life. Lose another two. Cool. Yes. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. I'm not gonna overcommit anything else. Pass turn. Glenelandra could have countered this. I forgot this. It seems like Wounded forgot it too, And but you got to use a, a Fierce Guardianship, which is funny because I got rid of your Nimmers thinking uh, this will make it more difficult for Cameron to cast Fierce Guardianship or something. No, I just have the mana up. Leaving phases, I saw that floating green for creature abilities. I want to yep. activate the death right. Yeah, Kiki. Now I gain two. I have the upkeep for Remora. I'm going to pay for it and draw and lose two. So back down to 21. I'll play this command tower. I'll cast Thrasius. I'll take two off of this ancient tomb. One colorless floating. I'll play Fonishram. Leave phases past the turn. In end step, I'm going to mini rip the shield red fish. Yeah, go for it. I will respond. I will sacrifice two treasures for two green and I will send the mayhem devil triggers at Kinnon in response. No response. Mini rift on shield red still here. I'm also going to sacrifice this nurturing peat land and use one of that mana to draw a card. And when I do that, I get another mayhem devil trigger. Wounded, I'll send the damage at you. Okay, I'm at 17. Protection from everything. We just went over this. I drew the card and then I will gain the two life from Shieldred. Still passed. Bounce to my hands. I will untap. Upkeep. Fish trigger on the stack. I will have the one ring damage go first. Fish trigger is still on the stack. I'm going to tap the one ring to draw two cards. I wish I had my Shieldred still. Draw two. Fish will die. Draw for turn. Do you sacrifice the Mystic Remora? Yes, okay. you do get a Mayhem. You do actually, yeah. Mayhem Devil trigger. Shoot the Fauna Shaman. Emergent zone is land for turn. Okay, fuck it. Lose two life, cast cannon. Tap Soul Ring and Simic Signet. Four, five, Seaborn Muse, cast the Spell Skite. Use one mana from Waterlog Grove, Springleaf Drum. Fish. You may draw, and that means pass the turn. Hmm. <laughs> you got a pretty good, uh, pretty good soft lock. Well, not a soft lock, but a lot of hard protection, I should say. Hey, two mana and a life, down to 27, on your end step, and I will cast, this is stupid, I will cast a dress down. There's a Mystic Remora? Oh, shit. I will respond to the Mystic Remora. Tap cannon for two blue. I'm gonna sacrifice one under on that. Mayhem Devil Trigger. Yep. I will shoot one damage at the Fauna Shaman. Boo hits. Finish it off. And then Glenelandra will return. So I have a draw. That happens. So we're gonna my turn? I will untap with you, and I'll put a stop in your upkeep. In your upkeep, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna tap the One Ring and draw a three cards. We are we're dead, everybody. <laughs> we are dead. Two and three. Tap Soul Ring for three. One of the colorless, I'm going to sacrifice Emergence Zone. I have a Mayhem thoughts. Devil Trigger, and I'm pretty sure it's the Glenelandra. On top of that, though, the Emergence Zone ability is a good result. Yep. That's good with me. Okay. Mayhem Devil Trigger on the stack. I'm going to keep going. So we, that's wrong. We tried to resolve this as if it was APNAP order situation, but because the Emergence Zone sacrifices as part of the cost, the Mayhem Devil Trigger would and should resolve targeting the Glenelandra before Wounded Satellite gets the ability to do things at instant speed. It doesn't super matter. The Spell Skite is there, and he could have just redirected the damage to Spell Skite, keeping that Glenelandra alive. So the only thing that maybe should be different is that he's got two less life and he did that instead. But just as a heads up, we play as if that's the way it is, but it's not the way that it is. That's not the way that it is. If we speak broadly, we can't be wrong. That's just the way it is. I'm going to cast Invasion of Ikoria, where X equals seven. Fish. You may draw on your fish. Oh, draw. I'm going to give this to Cam to defend, and I'm going to put a Hallbreaker Horror into play. Tap this for one additional blue. Use the two blue. I'm going to cast a Flesh Duplicate. Hallbreaker Horror Trigger, I will target a Soul Ring. Flesh Duplicate is going to enter as a copy of Glenelandra. Cast Soul Ring. Hallbreaker Horror Trigger, I'm going to target the Mystic Remora on the other board. Mystic Remora Trigger. You, you will get a fish drop on this, yeah. I'll get a draw. 
pay two life to misstep the soul ring. Pay one life. I'm going to sacrifice my flesh duplicate to counter the mental misstep. Flesh duplicate is a good to re-enter with a minus one, minus one counter. I have a mayhem devil trigger. Yes, you do have a mayhem devil trigger. Send it at Kinnon. Okay, yep. so this will re-enter the battlefield. There can be one damage pointed at Kinnon. Flesh duplicate has to re-enter something. We are going to do a dock side. So four treasures. And then we have the Hallbreaker Horror trigger to bounce the Mystic Remora. Yeah, Mystic goes back. Tap the soul ring for three colorless. I will tap Mox Opal for another two. I'm going to use that five to cast a Wandering Archaic. A Hallbreaker Horror Trigger, I will target my Mox Opal. I'm then going to cast Mox Opal, Hallbreaker Horror Trigger, I will target my soul ring. Yep, yep. Cool. Yep. I'm going to present a loop that produces infinite colored mana. I will finish with the soul ring in hand. I will then cast a Void Winner because it's fun. I will then show you a Thrasios. And, oh, yes. Uh, from yeah, this yeah. position, I will play my creatures. I can bounce all of your guys' permanents with a loop of Tide Spout Hallbreaker Horror. Let's say that you did that. We'll say that okay, all of our sure. <laughs> We all agree that we're dead from this situation, yes? Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right. Great. Hell yeah. Nice. We may not have zero life total, but all of our permanents are in our hand. All of Wounded Satellite's permanents are basically in play, and he's got all of the cards that he wants in his hand. We're just going to draw a card, do nothing, and pass while he will untap on his turn and be able to attack us with a whole bunch of big creatures. That's it. We're good. It's the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. This week, we have an extra Patreon exclusive game with our patron Kawaja going up for $10 and up patrons. Huge shout out to our $100 patrons, Mark Cirillo, Alan Button, lowercase. She doesn't even go here. SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Albosaibi, Demon of Rosgris, Uncle Butts, Kawaja, A, Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby D Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Like this merch, like this, you can buy this there. Huge shout out to Dragon Shield for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below for all of your Dragon Shield products and use code PLAYTOWIN5 to get 5% off your order there too. You can follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Should we talk, we about, talk about our 50 dollars Yeah, let's yeah, get let's her get done. done. I think we shall. We shall. Tyler, Tyler Watson, Brian, Brian Barrington, Zachary Coulson, Alex Musselman, Tyler H, X Tyler Tree X, Driving Pruner, Jabbar, Mace the Ace, Dalton Cote, Kadonis, Hobo Ghost, Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Man Solo, Pedro, Jacob Depp, Michael Blue, Don Wildfang, Thomas Bueno, David Nelson, thank you, thanks, thanks. That was perfect. I don't know what this is. FOV, good curse. Cam isn't affected by other stuff and dream cards. That was my notes. <laughs> so we'll what see that? what that means.